YouTube user Zeke the Antique Freak here, working on an X320 John Deere garden tractor. This is a transaxle out of it. It's a K58, uh, reputed to be unserviceable, so of course that's a, a bit of a challenge. Uh, 350 hours on it. I haven't changed the oil. They don't give you any way to do so. Uh, it's been uh, quite a thing. Now, if you were able to get from the filler hole or from the little vent deal, if you're able to get a hose down, uh, you would be able to suck the oil out of this chamber here where the uh, where the differential is but you wouldn't be able to get here where the uh, the motor is so my cure for that for next time I'd like to change it every couple hundred hours or whatever I want to keep this tractor for a long time it's a good tractor so I've uh, you'll see I gotta get the camera in the right spot here apologize for that down there is a little feature, a round feature that looks like it could have been a bung from the factory and there's another one right there so what I've done is I've uh, drilled it out with I believe it was an R bit threaded it to 1 8 inch national pipe thread and uh, and put uh, Allen head bungs into those spots next time around I can I can drain that oil without taking going through this process which is huge um, so it's not for the faint-hearted because when you drop this pan, the reason I took the pan off without turning it upside down and draining the oil, say, was I didn't want to distribute the uh, all the, any cuttings, any filth and stuff that was in the bottom. I didn't want to distribute it into the uh, into the mechanism itself. So I dropped this pan and promptly uh, a half a dozen or so parts fell into the pan. Uh, one was uh, this little keeper here for this gear. That that guy fell. Uh, this magnet fell this spring, this filter, and there's uh, three parts to the oil pump. There's an internal uh, gear, inside that is a, a small external gear, and there's dots on those to put them back in the, the proper relationship so that they wear the same as they used to. And uh, so basically the brake pucks fell out. There's this one here. I'll try and get the light for you so you can see how they're, how they're put in. So there's the larger piece here and this little guy here. Now you can tell on the uh, on the face of them which way they have to go in. There's a there's a wear pattern on it. Down in here there's uh, keepers and inside of that is uh, C-clips in, inside of this on both sides of this differential. And uh, of course some of that fell out so I've, I've got it back in and uh, the filter I cleaned it. There was a wee bit of stuff on it. It really wasn't bad for filth. Now there's two magnets buried under this cover here and this was uh, accessible by removing this bolt and I was able to take those magnets out and clean them. There was a little bit of uh, cuttings. Um, no, I wouldn't say cuttings, more or less a, a metal powder on there. And so anyway, with the new drain bungs and should be able to put this back together. I've cleaned the surfaces. This goes together without a gasket and the uh, uh, we'll be able to get this fella going again. The fluid is roughly, uh, they said 2.8 liters but I'll be careful putting it in and make sure that the uh, the level doesn't get over. There's no dipstick so I'll have to use an o-ring, uh, sorry, a tie wrap to use for a dipstick and then uh, mark down how much I put in and that'll be kind of a guess. Seek the Antique Freak, over and out.